I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight we're going to go through tennis elbow exercises or tennis elbow physical therapy uh, that you can do at home and I put physical therapy in quotes because a lot of times what we do in physical therapy is much more extensive than what you can do at home. Um, but we, I am going to show you some of the exercises that we would show a tennis elbow patient um, at physical therapy. So what is tennis elbow? Is it pain on the inside, pain on the outside? So tennis elbow is going to be pain on the outside of your elbow, all right? Generally, uh, a lot of times people have pinpoint pain uh, on a little part of that bone right there. Um, if you touch it, it really is sensitive. And it's just called tennis elbow for the backhand. Uh, it doesn't mean that you have to be a tennis player in order to have it, uh, but it is often found in tennis players. So why it's called tennis elbow. If you have numbness or tingling in your fingers, not a part of tennis elbow, doesn't mean that you don't have tennis elbow, but we're looking at a little bit more complex situation there when you have um, a numbness and tingling. So a lot of times what you're gonna feel is um, just throbbing either in up through here or down in through here, okay? Um, again, if it extends into your wrist, into your fingers, we're not really talking about tennis elbow. Now what we will, I will say, is it, when you move your wrist or you move your fingers, you might feel that pain in there. In fact, you might, you probably will feel pain in there. That does mean that it's tennis elbow, but when you feel like a numbness and tingling in your fingers, or it just kind of hurts to have your fingers sitting there, or the pain is actually in your hand, as opposed to up here, then it's not really tennis elbow. So you just kind of, just a couple of clarifications on what tennis elbow is. Um, one of the main things that we see though is a misdiagnosis of tennis elbow. So we can have pain right here, uh, pain going down the arm. Looks like tennis elbow, but it's actually coming from the neck. And I've treated a number of cases where people have gone to therapy, people have gotten treated for tennis elbow, have had no relief of symptoms, um, but really have still this pain more so just in here, but it's actually coming from the neck. So if you have this type of presentation um, of pain, you really wanna make sure that you clear your neck, make sure it's not coming from your neck, um, if that's, or your neck's not a component of that, uh, causing that pain in there. So what can you do for this at home? So a lot of times when you touch it right here, it's gonna be extremely painful. You might even feel pain as you kind of follow the arm down into here, you might feel pain up into here. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take two fingers, okay? And you wanna get right across the muscle and you just wanna go with what we call cross friction massage. So you're just gonna take your fingers and you're gonna go across the muscle like this. This is gonna hurt a lot, okay? Chances are you're not gonna get as hard as you need to go um, because no one actually wants to hurt themselves. So when you feel that pain, a lot of times you're gonna go, oh, that's really painful, I wanna stop doing that. But that's really gonna help that tissue get better. Maybe five minutes if you can tolerate it, as hard as you can, push down and then go across that muscle, all right, nice and easy. If you get down here and you're like, I don't feel any pain, then go back up here, all right? Nice and easy, you're gonna push down, okay? And you're just gonna kind of find all the tender spots holding down. Now you wanna be careful, obviously, as you do this, that you're not actually injuring yourself on the other side, so you wanna make sure that your fingers are not bending backwards, or you're not over bending your fingers. So you wanna make sure they stay straight, all right? If you have fingernails, probably not the best to do this. You might wanna use your knuckle, um, but you just wanna push in there and go across that muscle. Uh, which is gonna be that cross friction massage. The second thing you wanna do is a nice stretch, okay? So you can grab your arm just like this. You're gonna feel a stretch in through there, uh, the top all the way over here. Now you may just feel a stretch just like this. You may need to push your arm back, okay? So you wanna hold that 30 seconds and you wanna do that six times, all right? And then you can actually flip it over and you can do the stretch in the other direction, all right? This is the act actually gonna stretch out all the muscles in the forearm um, and some of the muscles in the wrist, which is really important. So even though one is more specifically geared towards that uh, tendonitis and stretching of the inflammation or for the tennis elbow, it's okay to stretch both of them so that way you get a really good wrist stretch, forearm stretch. You wanna hold these about 30 seconds and you wanna do six of them. 
and you can go back and forth nice and easy. This is something you can do sitting at the traffic light, you know, waiting for the, the red light to turn green, just nice and easy. You don't have to do this a specific number of times or a specific number of times throughout the day. 30 second hold six times is just a suggestion, but you can do any number of repetitions of those uh, to help loosen that up. Finally, Tennis elbow is just an inflammation. It's an epicondylitis, um, which is any type of itis is an inflammation. So you want to take either an ice cup. Um, you can take a bag of peas if you want, but something uh, like an, uh, an ice uh, cup of ice where you, then you tear the top off. So you, you have a little bit of ice cup and you can just kind of do a nice ice massage right to that area. 15 minutes every day. You really need to ice this. If you have that type of inflammation, if you have tennis elbow, you want to make sure that you're really icing it. That's going to help that inflammation go down. Even on days where you don't have pain or it doesn't feel as bad, even if you throw a bag of peas on there, you want to make sure that you are icing it. A um, couple other comments about tennis elbow. Uh, kinesio tape, uh, rock tape, whatever you want to call it, works really, really well uh, when it comes to um, the facilitation to reduce the inflammation of that um, uh, yeah, tennis elbow. And uh, we actually have other videos that show you how to tape that and will help you decrease the pain. That really helps well. A lot of times you'll see people wearing a brace. That's not necessarily a fix. Um, it will allow you to continue to play tennis pain-free. Um, that's like taking some Advil. It's not necessarily going to solve anything other than it will allow you for the time being to play tennis pain-free. Eventually that brace will no longer function uh, as, it, as it does now and you will have a bigger problem to deal with. But a lot of people just like to, you know, want the quick fix and if you put this on and you put the strap on and you're going to be great and you will and it'll feel a lot better. I'm not going to go through the mechanism of how it works or why that works, but um, just be aware that you're not solving anything by using that strap and you're actually creating a much worse problem to get rid of down the road. But if you're somebody who absolutely needs to play right now and want no parts of any sort of treatment, um, then that just put on that strap. If you are experiencing any type of elbow pain, whether it's on the inside, on the outside, and you want a physical therapist to take a look at it, um, we offer a free consultation. All you have to do is call 215-997-9898 and ask for a free consultation and we'll get you in and check your elbow out. Have a good night.